Hi everybody, BT here with FXLiveDayTrading.com. It's 8.50 here, PM EST, just watching the Asian session at the same time <clears throat> as I'm waiting for a Euro-Yen trade to pan out here. Um, after we just got the move up there on the Euro-Yen, I figured I'd spend some time here do a video. This is not on the Euro-Yen, this is actually on the Australian dollar. I want to recap what... Uh, trades we've taken over the course of the last 24 hours had a really good trade today. The um, <clears throat> the first trade we took did um, get about 74 pips. So I want to just talk about this because this was a really uh, neat trade. This was the Aussie US dollar. I'm just going to kind of move the chart in just a little tighter here so we can see. It's a four hour chart. Now, <clears throat> why did it fall so quickly and, uh, you know, it was very aggressive as opposed to, you know, we had the Euro-US dollar and not much action in that. In fact, the Euro-US dollar moved up. Well, for one thing, Australia did release their key inflation data yesterday and the news disappointed the markets. So the Australian CPI did fall sharply, and the Aussie responded by losing ground, and then it recovered a little bit. So I was watching this very close in Asian session. We were already short from yesterday's U.S. session, holding that overnight. <clears throat> then we also had a Euro USD, but that was just a scalp trade that lasted about an hour. So. That, if you want to check out that video, just see the recap from yesterday. But the Aussie US dollar uh, experienced a push down, and then what happened was the uh, HSBC numbers came out from China, which were very good. So then we saw the pop up on that pop up. Then I went ahead and took my second short position. Now, uh, I did cover those right around 104.68 today. We did in the trading room. But I just want to show you, you know, there's a four-hour chart here. There was a lot of anticipation of the Aussie dollar moving higher and actually breaking. Uh, you had the cup. You had the little handle here. This is a classic bullish charting pattern. But it really didn't make sense as we just kept coming up. And despite the market making new highs yesterday, you had the very weak Aussie dollar. So something was a little fishy there, um, and I went ahead and took the second Aussie dollar short, stop above the 106 106.6, and our cover was 104.55. Needless to say, there was various different criteria on why we did get in, and that's thoroughly explained in the trading room. Today, I just wanted to do this video just to quickly review exactly what went on, because again, many people were in fact been out of shape and many people were long on this and they were probably like well how, why did this fall well when you have many people going long and things just don't work out what happens panic sets in we run the right side of the fence nice trade and uh, I'll do a recap um, if we have a trade tomorrow as well so any rate <clears throat> not gonna go over three and a half minutes on this review hope everybody has a wonderful day if you'd like more information check us out FX live day trading dot com US session is from 8 to 1045 and then we have Euro session from 2 to 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time have a good one